So I have a copper pipe and a rare earth magnet, and it is not magnetic. What happens if I drop this magnet down the copper pipe? It's taken ages to fall through the pipe. But why is that? Well, in essence, it's the concept of Lenz's law. As the magnet falls through the pipe, it generates eddy currents. And those eddy currents have magnetic fields that oppose the motion. And so the magnet does not fall in an accelerated fashion, but falls at a constant rate until it leaves the pipe. Now I have produced another video that goes in greater detail of how eddy currents are produced. I encourage you to look at the video and the link is in the description below. Now this is a very common demonstration that is done in classrooms to demonstrate Lenz's law. But how do we know actually that those eddy currents are produced? So what I want to do is to show you two other demonstrations that demonstrate the concept of Lenz's law and the production of eddy currents. Now before I go on, this video is sponsored by Science with Matt. And Matt was kind enough to donate much of the equipment that you're going to see in this video and more about what he does at the end of the video. Now what I have here is a plastic pipe and around the plastic pipe I have placed a coil of 300 turns. But what I've done is connect the coil to an LED. So now what we have is a closed circuit. So what's gonna happen when I drop the magnet through? If you thought about it, it's gonna induce an EMF because of the rapid change of flux and that as a result is gonna produce a current and because we have a closed circuit, it's going to make the LED light up. Let's have a look. Did you see that? Let's have a look at it again. Now, what color did you see? If you saw yellow, well, that's what you saw, but in fact, that's not what occurred. Let's have another closer look, this time in slow motion. So what's occurring? This LED is a bi-directional LED. That is, it shines red when the current is going in one direction and shines green when it's going in the opposite direction. And as the magnet passes through the coil, the eddy currents that are produced change direction because at one point the EMF is such that it opposes the direction as it's moving into the coil and the other end as it leaves the coil. So the eddy currents are going to be changing directions and therefore you're going to see red and green. But because of the latency in your eyes and therefore your brain interpreting those two lights very close together, you see yellow light. So that's one other demonstration that shows the fact that the eddy currents are produced. But I have another one as well. So what I have now is my third experiment. And in this case, what I have is replaced the LED and connected my coil to two things. The first thing I've connected to is this ammeter. Now this is a wireless ammeter that is from Pasco and allows me to measure the current to great precision. And in fact, I'm gonna set the sample rate to a thousand hertz. So I'm getting a thousand samples per second. Now that allows me to record the actual current as the magnet falls through via my iPad, it's connected via Bluetooth. What I've also connected up is also this rheostat. Why is that? Well, the current that is produced is actually reasonably high. In fact, it goes over one amp and the Pasco wireless ammeter has a maximum capacity of one amp. And so by introducing another resistance, I'll reduce the overall current. So let's see what happens when I run the experiment. Let's have a look at our data we collected. So let's explain what's going on. As the magnet pulls through, and let's assume that the bottom here is the North Pole, it's gonna produce an EMF that opposes the motion. And so therefore it's gonna produce a current, let's say in that direction to oppose the motion like so. So that it produces the current in that direction as this falls through. 
but the point at which it switches is where we have the X axis. The magnet here is now directly in the center of the coil. It's now moving away from the coil. And because this top is the South Pole, as this moves away, we're now gonna produce a North Pole at the coil level at the bottom in this case to oppose it. In other words, you want to attract it. So now the current is going in the opposite direction. Now again, it peaks at a point where there is massive rate of change of flux. But of course, as the magnet moves away from the coil, it's going to drop eventually back to zero as the graph shows. So that is three demonstrations now that demonstrate Lenz's law and the production of eddy currents. Now, as mentioned earlier, many of the products that I use in this video, I got from Matt Dodds from Science with Matt. Now, Matt is a science educator. Now, as well as teaching and running teacher workshops, he also runs a business selling scientific equipment, and in particular for physics and chemistry. Now, it goes without saying, but if you're a teacher, you know the value of good and reliable equipment to help you demonstrate various concepts in an engaging but nonetheless rigorous way. Now, I can tell you that the products that he supplies are of excellent quality and his prices are very competitive. So if you're in the market for science equipment, check out Science with Matt, and I'll put a link in the description below. I hope these demonstrations have deepened your understanding of Lenz's Law. Please like, share, and subscribe. And particularly, if you want to support the work that I do, buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care, and bye for now.